Alright, so I gotta improvise for one of those things that, um, makes this, ow, makes, um, one of these things go like, but like, the more crisp, good sounding sound, so, into the depths of this place, to see, good, I think, so I'm gonna grab some, Paint brushes, see which one I like, and see if they sound any good. So, see if okay, so it's a bit off, it's not that bad. And over here. Play it pretty well. Right there. I want a more crisp down, like a. I don't know. I'll keep these here. And then I want to have a really quiet snare drum in there, too. Like a. But, I don't know if I can get, I don't know if I'm going to put that in there, if I can get, if I don't get this sound, which has to be crisp, or else it's not going to sound good, and then I might not even add the hairs in there. No, that's way too rough. Like, actually, you know what, I'm going to try some drums. I think I'm just going to use this for there, this for here, this will definitely go here, because this actually sounds decent on here, and then this. See, the problem here is I think I'm going to have to record the snare drum separately so I can make it less loud. Because without it being loud, I'll show you real quick. Without it being loud, this is what happens. I don't, want, I don't want that, I want this. So in the end, it sounds something like... I need something to prop this up on. It might sound something like here. How can I do this? It could sound around the lines of, but not as quiet as this. Carried away there, but that like jazzy brushing sound on the snare. So I'm gonna try and get the drums to sound correct. And if I can't do that, then I don't know what I'll do. So I need to get the tempo down first, which I think is something like. But it might be a bit slower. It might be a bit faster. And I need to make sure that I can get these drums to sound good. And I need to get an actual beat. And I need to record that separately, which is going to be a pain in my butt. <sighs> but, um, I'll get to you, and I'll do a quick crime lines. It's not the best thing in the world, but it's the first thing I've ever done, so it's not that bad. Um, considering I had to improvise with some paint brushes and a single thing, the sounds that I used were the crash cymbal, 
but I made the audio really low for that, so it was barely audio and audio audible. And I used this, and I banged against the crash channel. It was it's like almost impossible to hear, but it's just like. But that's way louder than I recorded it, just so you guys maybe could hear that. Not that loud. And I didn't hit it with the metal part, I hit it with the actual brush. And then on the snare, on the snare, I was on the snare drum, I was originally gonna go like this, and then but I figured that banging crashing a little symbol like a symbol of crash sound better. And then on the snare, I just did a simple row. It was fun to make. The piano took a little bit. I looked up a YouTube video of one, I just, I looked up jazzy chords, I found one chord built off of that, and then some other chords I did, there was one chord that sounded really good, but I didn't end up using it, because it just didn't really fit in anywhere in the song, it was like a happy like, doo 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 doo, like, it was too good, and I didn't end up adding any other, chords. nothing fancy, just really sweet. I hope you guys enjoyed the video and get ready for the Tyrone video that's coming out. See you later.